MJ probably a little bit later than I think your heart probably could have taken on uh, on Saturday, but just shows that the team doesn't doesn't give up and, and plays to the very last whistle. Yeah, of course. I think um, I think we deserved that as well for the way we played. Um, they asked us different um, problems really. Uh, they sat off us. Then the, towards the end of the second half, uh, you know, they started pressing us. So, um, but yeah, we managed to obviously get the late goal, uh, Ellis again. So. Uh, yeah, delighted for him uh, to come on, and you know he made a massive impact for us, and he's done that a couple of times recently now for us. So, uh, you know, all the squads together, and and they're the moment you want. I was just going to say he loves a late one, doesn't he, Ellis? And it's it's quite a few now that he's got in, in the last minute, but also, you know, the, the team has scored quite a few late goals. Of course, yeah, and I think that's how it's going to be with some of these games. You know, teams sitting off us, um, or whether they go toe to toe with us, but we know. You know, the style of play we're playing now um, and the way we're playing, I think, you know, it's obviously going to wear teams down and, you know, we're going to score uh, a lot of late goals. But, you know, as long as we win that game, um, you know, I don't mind them late goals. But, um, and it's, a, you know, obviously after the game is even better, obviously, when you've got that late goal, um, you know, you come in after the game and everyone's buzzing. And um, But, yeah, I just think the way we're playing now, uh, you know, obviously it's going to, Maybe after the 70th minute, you know, that's when we're going to start, uh, you know, seeing a lot more chances, and um, you know, we've got to take them. Um, you mentioned Tranmere's sort of standoffish uh, approach during the game. I mean, Warren was given freedom of the, the half, wasn't yeah. he, to, to walk out, um, and, and that's not really an approach that, that we've seen against MK Dons. Yeah, of course. You know, I think um, there's been a couple of games that I can remember where teams have sat off us a little bit, um, but not to that. Um, you know how it was on the weekend, where you know obviously it was was walking through the middle of the pitch really up until the halfway line, and you know you could tell their fans were getting frustrated, um, which was good for us really. It was about us keeping calm, and you know we work on it a lot in training. You know them type of situations where it's gonna, you know when we do get into their half, it's gonna be tight, and you know it's up to us then to, you know get the pattern to play that way. We're working on every single day. Um, and I think that did show, you know, we made some great chances and, you know, thankfully we did score. Um, the mood must be great at the moment as well, you know, the road bump that was, was Doncaster, but everything seems to be pointing in the right direction. You, you, you're climbing the table and, and picking up wins, which I think was, was, was hard to come by earlier on. Yeah, of course, you know, that's all down to the gaffer as well. You know, he's come in, he's been absolutely brilliant, um, you know, brought us all together. Uh, you know, everyone loves coming in. You know, it's a really happy place to come into. Um, the sessions are really good, um, and then obviously the results is the the massive one for us. Um, you know, I think going into Christmas, um, I think you know it can change the season, um, and I think we need to go into it and get as many wins as we could. And you know, thankfully we did do that. Um, you know, obviously the Doncaster game was a bit bit of a downer, but you know we bounced back from that quickly. Um, you know, and I think looking back now over the Christmas period, we did brilliantly. Um, but now it's you know we've put ourselves in a good place now. You know, into the playoffs, and you know we've got a couple of games in hand. Um, so now is our chance to take that really, and you know we can't afford to slip up many more times. Um, busy period coming up though, isn't it? All those games are going to be coming thick and fast, and I suppose it'll be about the depth of the squad and, and, and making sure that everyone stays as fit as possible. But you know, given everything that you, you've got out on the pitch as well. Yeah, of course, you know, and, you know, the gaffer's going to rotate the team. Um, that's how it is. But, you know, we're all together in there. Um, you know, whoever comes in and and plays, um, you know, everyone's going to give their all. And, you know, that's, like you said, then we've got some, you know, busy period coming up with some massive games, really. Um, you know, a chance for us to take some points off teams above us. Um, and, you know, that's how it's going to be now. We've got it till the end of the season, going as many wins as we can um, and get a run going, which I know we're capable of doing. I suppose that's when the season is, is, is won and lost, isn't it? It's when this period comes along, it's the, the second half of the season, things start to ramp up and, and, like you say, you can have that opportunity to take points off, off your rivals. Yeah, of course, you know, and you've got a lot of Saturday Tuesdays so if you can go on and run, you know, them then wins quickly turn into a lot of points, um, you know, and then that's when, you know, hopefully we can be right up there. That's where we want to be. Um, so, yeah, you know, obviously all focus turns to now, you know, that Christmas period's gone now. Um, now's our time to, you know, really kick on. And a good run in the side for, for yourself. You played at centre-back, you played, played in the centre midfield, you know, it's cliche to ask you which one you prefer but you, you seem to be doing doing well in both to be honest and you know playing some of your best football yeah you know obviously um probably come in as a centre mid but I knew I can play at the back as well um I did quite a lot last season 
uh, you know, filling in and, you know, obviously there's going to be injuries and, you know, obviously we had tucks out, uh, halves out, so obviously we rotated the back line a little bit and, yeah, you know, obviously I've tucked to it quite quickly. Um, I'm enjoying it, but I enjoy both positions really, you know, so whatever position I'm asked to do, you know, I'm happily, happily do it and, um, yeah, I just want to give me all. And it seems like in, in either position you see a lot of the ball, it's, it's it, the key positions irrespective of which one you stood in. Yeah, of course, yeah, quite similar to, to be fair, the centre mid and where I've been playing at the back, you know, obviously me playing centre mid, I'm quite deep really, so, um, you know, obviously you're trying to find them passes forward, uh, trying to control games and, you know, uh, with the style of play, you know, it suits me perfectly really, um, I'm really enjoying it, um, so yeah, whatever position I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And when you've got a guy like Dan Kemp coming back, who's, you know, scored a lot of goals this season and provided a lot of assists as well. <coughs> You know, knowing that he was a player out on loan from MK Dons and getting back, and a, that a lot of teams probably would have come sniffing. That's that's a big mark for the rest of the season, and certainly for the league to maybe sit up and pay attention. Yeah, of course. You know, it's massive for us. Um, I've worked with Kempi a couple of times now um, when I was at Blackpool with him, and you know, he's a he's a great player. Um, he's a massive character, and you know, obviously a top player as well. Um, so you know, it's important to get him back because. You know, some of his stats from the season have been absolutely brilliant and hopefully now he can come back and show everyone, you know, he can he's gonna do it for us as well, which I'm sure he will. Um, you know, we had a lot of glimpses from the weekend of what he can do, you know, some of the positions he gets in who are brilliant. Um so it's yeah, it's massive for the group for him to come back now and um hopefully he can, you know, really push us on. And just finally Morecambe, a team that we came across a, a few weeks ago, um a team that's Stumbled a little bit in the last few weeks since since Don's played them, but you know it's a it's a t- going to be a tough afternoon at, at Stadium MK, isn't it? Yeah, of course it always is against Morecambe. Um, you know they're a team that works really hard, um, and you, they ask you a lot of questions. But you know I think when we went there, uh, when it's a tough place to go, and you know we really dominate that game. Um, so I'm obviously now back at home. Hopefully we can do the same again, um, which I'm sure we will. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a really tough game, but. You know, it's just all about the next game now, and you know that's that's the the main one now. Saturday for us to you know focus on and um, hopefully get the three points. It feels like a long time since we've been here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and I think we've got three home games now, is it? So, yeah, you know, obviously great to be back at home, um, playing in front of our fans. So, you know, we're all looking forward to that.